Well, good morning, and good morning, and welcome to the 213th commencement of Tarleton State University. It is delightful to see so many of you so enthused about your graduates. This is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni during this, our centennial year as a member of the Texas A&M University system. To open the ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior music major, Ms. Devin Harper. She will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for the Division of Student Affairs. Gentlemen, please remove your caps, and I ask all who are able to please stand and remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Please bow your heads. On this commencement day, while we have all traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all that they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that is past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, Friends who provided support and help make a lifetime of memories. We ask that these graduates reflect on the core values of this university as their knowledge and abilities, to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions of our time, 
to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. Graduates, this is a glorious day as we celebrate your achievements. You've worked hard and I know you've sacrificed to get here. I also know that you've dreamed and you've planned for this day, as have your family and friends. Most of you have been part of the Tarleton family for four years, some of you a few more, some of you a few less. And a lot has happened along the way as you've worked toward earning your Tarleton degree. Things like David Leatherman left Late Night Show, Peyton Manning left the NFL, and Dale Earhart Jr. took his last lap around the NASCAR track. Amazon's Alexa spoke up, Taylor Swift, she grew up, and emojis, they showed up seemingly everywhere. Fads like Pokemon Go, water bottle flipping, and the mannequin challenge, they came and they went during your time here. You saw some pretty amazing things. A NASA spacecraft reached Jupiter, a solar eclipse, and possibly the most amazing of, of all, you witnessed the Houston Astros and the Chicago Cubs both win a World Series. <clears throat> <clears throat> things have changed around the campus too. New majors, new residence halls, new teaching facilities, a new campus on its way to Fort Worth, and a new engineering building here in Stephenville. Today, you can take a picture of John Tarleton on the restored Alumni Island, and you can stop and thank General Rudder and give him a few pennies for good luck, who is a Tarleton alumnus, a World War II war hero, and the former chancellor of the Texas A&M University system. <laughs> we always have Aggies in the crowd. <clears throat> Having these two statues on our campus have sparked new traditions and certainly has reminded us of the rich traditions of this university. For example, as you've heard, this year marks the 100 year anniversary as the founding member of the Texas A&M system. And you are the last gra graduating class of this centennial year celebration as a member of the system. You take with you some important things. Possibly most importantly, you take with you the core values of this university. Tradition, integrity, civility, leadership, excellence, and service. I have seen these values in action by members of this class. Let me give you a few examples. Clay Ratcliffe, he's finishing what he started 34 years ago. After one year of junior college, he joined the Army as a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division. His father is a veteran, and his son is in the Army now. Clay wished to fulfill a promise he made his parents to finish college so they can say all three of their boys have college degrees. Well, today, Clay is fulfilling that promise. Congratulations, Clay. <clears throat> Juana Valesquez is earning her degree in international business and Spanish. She's been an active leader in Sigma Alpha Pi, a chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success and the Hispanic Student Organization. Juana took two study abroad trips to Europe and South America. In Colombia, she volunteered at a local hospital by organizing activities and plays for their children and their families. And like Juana, Marcus Armstrong is the first in his family to earn a degree. His first attempt at college lasted only one year where he learned the important lesson of failure. Marcus and his two friends survived a very serious car accident. One of his friends, however, did not. And that focused his attention on doing something worthwhile. And then at Tarleton Midlothian, Marcus found a home. At age 29, he was then surprised with a diagnosis of congestive heart failure. He reports that, and I quote him here, with proper medication, lots of prayer, 
and a little luck, I'm on the long road to recovery. I know the Midlothian team and all of us across the university are very proud that Marcus will receive his business degree today. Congratulations, Marcus. <clears throat> I celebrate each of our graduates today. I applaud your persistence, your hard work, and your determination to reach this important goal in your life. As educated men and women, as Tarleton graduates, know this, much is expected of you. Make a difference in the lives of others. Be a leader in your chosen profession. Improve the quality of life of all of your communities and live Tarleton's core values. They will be a compass in what I know will be a changing and certainly a challenging world in the years to come. And now as I think is fitting at any commencement, I offer you just a few final words of advice. Take the scenic route. You know, getting there sometimes can be half the fun, folks. Lead with courage and remember this, as Marcus did, failure is part of future success. So if you fall down five times, make sure you get up six times. Use your voice sometimes more than your thumbs. <laughs> yeah, you get that? <laughs> Wear purple. And finally, always be proud to be a Tarleton Texan because we want you to know this. We are very, very proud of you. Graduates, this is a day and this is a season to show gratitude starting with the family and the friends that are here. Many of these folks have helped you achieve what it is that you're receiving today. Families and friends, we want you to know this. This day belongs to you as well as the graduates. And so I'd like to ask all the family and friends in just a moment to stand. And graduates, this is your opportunity to give them a rousing thank you for all that they have done to help you reach this day. So as the family and friends stand, Graduates, will you give them an enormous shout out and thanks. <laughs> Family, friends, stand. <laughs> now listen folks, it's at 10 o'clock in the morning, but I know you can do better than that, and I know you're more thankful than that. Say thank you to these folks. <laughs> now that's marginally better. <laughs> At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Would they please stand when introduced, and will you please hold your applause until all are standing? Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Phil Sudman, representing the Vice President for Enrollment Management. Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development. Kent Styron, representing the Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Steve Steed, Dean College of Business Administration. Dr. David Druckhammer, Associate Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean College of Education. Dr. Leslie Leach, Associate Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Dr. David Weisenberger, Interim Dean, College of Health Sciences and Human Services. Dean Kelly Styron, Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Arthur Lowe, Associate Dean, College of Science and Technology. Dr. Keith Emerit, Faculty Senate President, Ms. Ashley Barnes, Staff Council President, and Ms. Donna Strohmeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding Tarleton leaders. Well, as was explained before the processional, some of our graduates are wearing colorful cores that represent high achievement, and academic honors. Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords representing achievement and honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. <clears throat> it is their sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life liberty, happiness, and our education. Now I would like to ask all the veterans in the class and active or reserve duty personnel in the class and any in the, in the audience, if you would please stand so we can again thank you for your service to our nation. Please stand.
Graduates, this is your day. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Today's speaker is Dallory Lampfear, who has earned a Bachelor's of Science degree in Applied Science from the College of Business Administration. She was named the outstanding graduate in her program. Like a number of you in this class, Dallory has worked while pursuing her degree. She is Director of Testing for Hill College. In that capacity, she has discovered her passion for working with students. She wrote, quote, the opportunity to make a difference in a student's life is definitely humbling and leaves you wanting to do more. Earning this degree is a step forward in her career in higher education. Dallory intends to pursue a graduate degree. There are a number of grandparents here today, but almost all of them are in the audience, not in the graduating class. Dallory and her husband of more than 40 years have two daughters, one son-in-law, and a grandson. Surely Dallory's determination to follow her passion will inspire him in the future. Dallory finds time to train and, and trial Border Collie stock dogs. She has served on the board of several stock dog, dog associations, and she will be a judge at the 2018 Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo Sheep Dog Trials. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dallary Lampfear. Good morning, Dr. DeTavio, Provost Murray, fellow graduates, family and friends. I am humbled and honored to be your speaker this morning. How, hum how exhilarating to be standing on the threshold of an arena where nothing stands between us and greatness but for the choices that we make. This commencement from Charleston State University's College of Business Administration represents so much more than a sea of mortar boards under which your smiling faces, an air of excitement, anticipation, anxiety, optimism, and perhaps a hangover or two from celebrating the occasion. <laughs> it bears witness to each student's completed quest in finding the treasure of knowledge which will bring about a positive change in our lives. With degree in hand, previously locked doors will now swing open. As you can see, I am not a traditional baccalaureate candidate. I was raised during the time when wax Coca-Cola bottles and candy cigarettes were the Red Bull of choice. I was raised, uh, my first six grades of education were spent in a country school in Montana, where I was the only member of my grade. Many times during the winter, instead of concentrating on academics, we would play ice hockey on a nearby frozen river. I loved going to school. I, when my dad's health failed and we moved to town, I was put in a school where there were hundreds in my grade. Because I'd achieved days for the previous six years, I was put in honors classes. Not only was I behind academically, socially, I was limited at best. At that juncture, attending school became a burden, and I spent my high school career with the goal in mind of graduating, period. Fast forward to marriage and two beautiful daughters, the band at the school my girls attended produced a dinner theater each year as a fundraiser. The one year I participated, we were doing Tea House of the August Moon, a play about post-World War II Japan just before our troops were brought home. My assigned duties were goat wrangler, sound mixer, and the part of Miss Higajiga, a very outspoken, self-assigned leader of the geishas. It called for a goat jumping on the hood of a jeep. That was an easy one, as a goat will do anything for food. But it also called for an elegant, profound dance performed by the geishas, representing transformation and hope. It made no sense, as I had no formal training or background, but I was also charged with the choreography and leadership of the dance. At the time, I worked with a woman who was a very successful thespian and whose grandchildren are television and movie stars. Once the play was over, she came to me and remarked that the dance was what had made the performance for her. It was beautiful, and where had I learned to do that? I floundered for an answer and finally told her I really didn't know. I guess it was because no one had told me that I couldn't. Her affirmation was a pivotal moment. At that point, I graduated from the ideal of being less than into an attitude of wanting to be so much more. When the time came to decide on a university from which to pursue my degree in business, the choice was an easy one. Charleston State University's stellar reputation and rich heritage ensures a quality education, and several of my family members are Charleston alums. It hasn't disappointed, and I am pursuing my master's with Charleston in the spring. 
Obtaining your degree has enlarged you as a person, improved your resume, and will make your life better. Henry Ford once said, if you think you can or you think you can't, either way you're right. Don't allow a mindset of the way you were raised to put limits on your future. Only you can do that. I encourage you to combine the knowledge your education has given you with the wisdom God imparts to make an impact. However, <coughs> excuse me, celebrate your uniqueness, knowing that self-confidence is important. However, keep in mind that a large ego is the anesthesia which deadens the pain of stupidity. Keep that in check. The milestone we've achieved today doesn't end our time to graduate. We are continually commencing from one year to another, one relationship to another, one experience to another. James chapter 4 verse 14 tells us that we are but a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. While we are busy moving through one phase of life to another, watching as our mist dissipates, if we are a person of integrity, honesty, and empathy, if we are kind, compassionate, loving, and tolerant, then when our mist has disappeared forever, our legacy will reflect that the path that permeated was a little bit brighter because we had passed over it. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. Now, get on with your bad selves and go make a positive difference in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Dowry, for your remarks. You have represented your graduating class very well. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. As teachers and scholars, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers, as mentors, challenging and supporting these students as they have worked toward this day. Additionally, from the Texan tour leaders who gave many of you your first look at this campus, to the grounds crews that keep it beautiful, and the team who has organized these five graduations this weekend, hundreds of Tarleton staff members have made Tarleton your home away from home and helped you reach this day. Like your family and friends, our faculty and staff take great pride in your graduation. Will the representatives of the faculty and staff please stand and let us recognize you. And now we're to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dean Steed to present and recommend the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Business please rise? That's you. <laughs> Provost Murray, faculty of the College of Business Administration and I are very proud to certify that these candidates have met all college and university requirements for their respective degrees. These candidates are representative of a very diverse student body with very broad range of backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives who've developed the knowledge and the skills to become very productive contributors to the global business environment. They have demonstrated that they're capable of continual learning and adapting to the ever-changing business, social norms. At this point, I want to tell you congratulations and that we're convinced that you're prepared to bring honor to yourselves, your families, and the alma mater. Congratulations. President DeTavio, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degree. 
as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, I confer the bachelor's degrees upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you, as educated men and women of the world, to use your education in the service of others. Congratulations, graduates. <clears throat> You may be seated, and student marshals, will you please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas. The following are candidates are from the College of Business Administration, Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Yuvia Abru. Deborah L. Bingham, cum laude. Tawana Fillmore, cum laude. Tammy Oline Hardin. Lindsay Jeanette McNew Hickerson. Linda C. Hutton, cum laude. Tina Ray Lynch, cum laude. Priscilla Monica Martinez. Terry Lynn Mungia. William Kate Clayton Ratliff, cum laude. Glenn Lewis Reed, Jr. Deborah Lynn Shoup, magna cum laude. James Robert Sims. Wayne E. Spaulding, Jr. Kevin D. Spikes. Maria G. Tabera. Connie Jean Terry, cum laude. Lisa Marie Velosky. Robert A. Watson. Tiffany Chanel Weber. Galen D. Wilson. The following are candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration. Colton Neal Allen. Marcus Wayne Armstrong. Lauren Ashley Bain, cum laude. Robert Dennis Brock. Stella Naomi Bronstein. Chesney Marie Brooks. Evan Blake Shreen. Corbett C. Clark. Michaela Ashton Coker. Kyle Allen Cooper. Monica Karina De La Seda. Logan Miles Dixon. 
Amber Nicole Flores. Jeremiah Jarrell Fontenot. Cynthia Ann Fountain. Tanner Lane Galvin. Mecca Sue Gann. Hannah Louise Greer. Brandon Douglas Hart. Angie Herrera. Daniel Adam Holsey. Ginger N. Jones. Dylan Quaid Cridal. Carrie Leanne Kirkendall. Lauren Nicole Little, cum laude. Dekebia Antoinette Long. Taylor Nicole Lunsford. Victoria Elizabeth Lynch. Guillermo Martinez. Ashton Danae Mason. Ricky Wayne Moore. Hunter Lee Parsons. Lacey Payne. John Richard Pelizari. Lauren Rachel Penner, cum laude. Deanna Elizabeth Ponder. What's on your hand? Robert Kellum Ramsey. Andre Dominique Resendez. Cecil Glenn Robinson. Corbin Ann Rouse. Anthony Scott Rungi. Larissa Lee Sanchez. Jennifer Scott Lee. Laura Ashley Simmons. Angelita Sims. Megan Danielle Spence. Mandy Christine Stevenson. Callie Josephine Searles. Jonathan James Tozen. Honors Degree Program graduate, Lindsay Christine Turan. Tanner Davis Thompson. Adrian Alexander Uriagas. Brandon Lee Wagner, magna cum laude. Connor Luke Westbrook. Jacob Taylor Westerfield. Logan Baker Wilson. Caitlin Francis Zucchero. 
Victoria Helen Allred. Madison Taylor Bordelon. Matthew Chandler Boyd. You can turn around. Madeline Star Campos. Julian Roman Dominguez, Magna Cum Laude. Bradley Allen Durbin. Elizabeth Ann Edwards. Nicole Leah Floyd. Riley Page Fountain. Callie Michelle Linton. Marissa K. Logsdon. Maria De Jesus Lopez. Ashlyn Deanne Millette. Connor Alexander Willimon. Lane Wood. Nicole Renee Brannon. Christian Ray Croson. Amanda Nicole Glinsky. Lucy Lee. Martin Javier Medina. Lauren Mary Nicholson, cum laude. Elise Ann Oliver. Melissa Ann Perry. Clarissa J. Walker. Cord Lee Carpenter. Oscar Chavez. Jennifer Nicole Jin. Caitlin C. Martin. Juana Berenice Valasquez. Nathaniel Joseph Adams. Arya Anzaldua, cum laude. Michael Arthur Banker. London W. W. Braze. Presidential Honors Degree Program graduate, Rachel Elizabeth Burkhart, summa cum laude. Yar Arturo Campos. Brandon Ray Corey. Kristen Angelina Griffin. Rachel Ann Hammond, cum laude. <laughs> Sheila Yvette Hernandez. Maribel Mendoza. Madison Ann Miller, cum laude. Forrest Glenn Otis. Nicholas Ryan Payton. <laughs> Carrie Elaine Rogers. Hunter Blake Seals. Caleb Alton Smith. 
Hannah Ray Tyson. Ansley K. Williams. Patrick William Wilson. The following are candidates for the Bachelor of Science. Shannon Nicole Bailey. Matthew Samuel Bassey. Sherry J. Beeman, summa cum laude. Christopher Michael Behealer. Katie Nicole Bio. Garrett David Boyd. Roman Paul Cisneros. Crislin Michelle Combs. Corey Lee Criswell. Jimmy Estrada Jr. Richard Tapley Greeson. Megan Ryan Holt. Leslie Diane Hall. Margaret Maria Krasinski. Dallary Lamphere, cum laude. Anthony Joseph Marino, cum laude. Charles Lauren Skip Marsh. Dana Lynn Masters, cum laude. Jamie Lee McNulty. Anthony Devon Miller. Mackenzie Zane Mills. Elizabeth K. Moldovan. Andre Mukadoski, cum laude. Joseph S. Nicola, cum laude. Christina Orduna. Adam Perez. Michelle Rico Ramirez. Tammy L. Robert. Charity Joan Simpson. Christopher, Christopher Ransmith. Wayne Smith. Renda Jean Songer. Julie Ann Stepina. Christopher Todd Strother. Brian Edward Tidmore, cum laude. Sheila Rania Turner. Courtney Renee Volney. Jeremy Shaw. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give your graduates one more round of applause? Congratulations.
Now, would all of you who just received your bachelor's degrees please rise? There are two important traditions at our commencement ceremonies. At the university's official ring ceremony, we ask that you wear your ring, your Tarleton ring, with a T facing in until you graduate. And so for those of you who have a Tarleton ring, you may now turn your ring so that the T is facing out so that all the world will know that you are indeed a Tarleton graduate. Congratulations. And finally, the tassels on the caps of undergraduates are worn on the right side until they receive their bachelor's degree. And as you know, a time-honored tradition at commencement ceremonies is the symbolic movement of your tassels from your right to your left side. Graduates, you may move your tassels now. Congratulations, alumni. <laughs> And you may be seated. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me thank Dr. Westbrook and the Tarleton Wind Ensemble for adding so much to today's occasion. Thank you, Dr. Westbrook. <clears throat> Graduates, it has been my great honor to present you with your diplomas, and now I look forward to getting to know you as active and engaged alumni. I encourage you to come back and to give back to your alma mater. Your achievements will no doubt enhance the standing of this university and the value of your diploma. You have my very best personal wishes. As you begin your life's journey, please remember that the gates of Tarleton are always open to you. To close today's ceremony, I'd like to ask Devin Harper to come forward again to lead the singing of the color song, the university's alma mater. I encourage the audience to sing along, but please remain at your seats until the platform group and the students have led the recession. Gentlemen, I ask you to, again, please remove your caps, and all who are able to please rise for the singing of the color song and the recessional.